All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the Evans Garage. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to mount an OEM RAM hood ornament onto a first gen. So I picked up a original OEM uh, RAM hood ornament. Now these RAM hood ornaments were installed on um, old RAM chargers and RAM pickup trucks up until they started putting the intercoolers in, in a first gen, so 91 and a half, uh, if I'm not mistaken. You know, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, so these uh, Ram hood or ornaments didn't come on the intercooled trucks, but a lot of guys tend to put these on just because they're a nice little feature uh, to put on the hood of your truck. Um, I've decided to put this Ram hood ornament onto what what we've now deemed the name of the blue truck is Old Blue. So I don't mind drilling holes into the hood of that truck. I would never do this in the hood of my red truck because it's too nice. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put this on the blue truck because the blue truck's more the, the fun truck for me. So today I'm going to show you how to uh, properly mount this Ram hood ornament according to the uh, installation instructions that came uh, from Mopar. And I'll get a uh, scanned, I don't have the actual original document, but I have a photo of a document that somebody sent me that I'll uh, link in the description or I'll, I'll put a, a photo of the the installation instructions up on the screen for you. All right, so before we take a look at the OEM RAM hood ornament, I also wanted to make note that you can also get an aftermarket RAM hood ornament that is uh, one piece. So the original one is two pieces that comes with the head and the base mount. Uh, the aftermarket ones that you can get on Amazon are one solid piece. So if you can't find an OEM one, you can also uh, get these ones off of Amazon. I don't think they're the exact same mounting dimensions or holes uh, so you know be wary of that and they i think they look slightly different than the original ones they might have a bit more you know tilt to it or something but uh, you can you can get these ones aftermarket uh, for a price if you think they look better you can go with that option but i wanted to be original to this truck so that's why i went with this option all right so a few things to note about the original ram hood ornament like i said it's two pieces this bottom one here is a chrome uh, plated piece of plastic it seems um, there's a small thin sheet of plastic on the bottom i think that acts as a gasket of some sort and how they mount this on the truck uh, from the factory is you have this piece here you know it goes through here and then a piece of metal comes out the bottom and then there's a spring that goes over top of it's it's basically a cotter pin and it holds uh, the two pieces together and then you have the nuts that go over top that go in between the hood and the base mount and that's how it's mounted to the hood so the way I got it I don't think it was completely original um, so I'm not sure if this is correct but there's there was a cotter pin over here and then this small spring was over top went through cotter pin was bent over the bottom of the spring so you know if someone tries to come along and grab your ram hood ornament it sort of just you know springs back and forth or if you hit something accidentally i guess it won't bend the sheet metal in the hood um so i did want to replace the spring because it seemed a bit loose and then also it only came with one original ones of these nuts so i had to find replacements for those so what i did was i got an eighth inch by one inch uh, cotter pin i got these from lowe's and then I actually found the replacement nuts. They're called um, hexagonal thread cutting nut. It's a 3 8 hex and 3 16 stud. I also got these from Lowe's, you know, a dollar, two dollars or whatever. So it's good I could find replacements for those. And then for springs, uh, Lowe's also had just a assortment pack of springs, uh, which I found one that would fit, uh, fit relatively well. It needs to fit into the bottom without going through the base and then be long enough that you know and strong enough that your cotter pin go, can go over there and then hold the ram hood ornament so what i think i'm going to do with these springs this is the old one and this is the new one the old one actually fits inside of the new one here that came from that spring pack assortment so i think i'm going to use both of them and then i'll throw the cotter pin through and then that'll give me a nice uh, rigid rigid uh, spring surface to hold the ram head all right so i've got my new cotter pin here i'm just going to slide it through the bottom 
All right, we've got the cotter pin on there. Just like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and stick it through the base. So the cotter pin's coming out the bottom. I'll stick my big spring on. And I'm gonna stick my small spring on. Actually, maybe I'll do this the other way. Stick my small spring on, my big spring on. And then I'm gonna have to push that down and then bend the cotter pins. All right, so I got the springs on there and bent the cotter pins back. Um, I j I'm just gonna have to trim the ends of the cotter pins so it doesn't stick past the diameter of that hole so I can get it through the hood. But here's, here's kind of what it simulates once it's all on there. So I'm just holding the base and then you can see, you know, that can spring back. Well, of course, until it's hitting the cotter pin, but it springs back and it's spring loaded so hopefully it'll be strong enough that it won't bend back in the wind, I guess, and be strong enough that it just holds the ram head. And that's what it looks like with the cutter pins trimmed from the bottom. There we go. So now we'll go ahead and uh, drill some holes in the hood. All right, and my new 3 8 thread cutting nuts uh, fit on there well. I just tested them like that. There we go. And those go on pretty nice there. Okay, and like I said earlier about the factory Mopar accessory installation instructions, um, I'll, I'll post this photo onto the video and a link in the description. Uh, but these are the, these are the factory Mopar instructions that came uh, with the aftermarket uh, Ram hood ornament installation box. So, uh, you know, these are the proper dimensions to take and I'll run through them when I when I show you how to install it on the truck. All right, so I'm just looking at the drill bit hole sizes it's telling me to use. So um, we center punch lightly on the hood and then we use eighth inch drill bits as pilot holes. The two outside ones, it says to use quarter inch drill bits and then the big center one, it says to use a five eighths diameter drill bit. Uh, the biggest one I have is nine sixteenths, but it looks like half inch might work, 9 sixteenths for sure will definitely work. So um, I'll start with the half inch hole, see if that works, because most kits come with a half inch drill bit um, and not the 9 sixteenths. So we'll see if the half inch works. All right, so I'm just out at the truck here now. Um, the first thing I wanted to show you is underneath the hood, um, in order to tighten up the nuts, there's gotta be holes on the bottom. So I'm thinking that one of the holes is gonna poke through here. And then if you push back your insulation a little bit, there is another hole right there. So one of the things that you could do is just drill from the bottom of this hole up and then, you know, position the other one. But I'm gonna drill from the top. Um, I've got the right measurements. I found out that the, that the template from the top, you actually need that pen paper uh, template to make it work work out so the measurement from the back of the hood is actually 38 and a half 38 and 9 sixteenths kind of somewhere around there to the back of the um, base plate and then you can take your measurements from there for the holes all right so it might be might be a bit hard to see here because i'm doing this in the rain oh i need a garage anyways um what i did to make it easy for you is I'm going to give you a measurement from the back of the hood to where the first pin is that you drill. And then I'll give you the, you know, sequential measurements for those, but the first hole from the back of the hood, I made my mark at 38 and a half. And then the first hole is going to be at 38 and 11 sixteenths and then that third hole at the back looks like it's going to be 41 and 41 and 5 sixteenths at the back all right for the across measurement i'm doing roughly 5 eighths across so the three inches is the start of my mark and then 5 eighths in from that for both the front and the back 
you're really going to have to try and eyeball uh, left and right as much as possible um, just when you're looking at it from from the center so we've got line it up on our back crosshair and our front crosshair and it's pretty centered there Alright, I drilled both my pilot holes using eighth inch drill bits and now I'm going to drill those two outside holes using a quarter inch drill bit. Alright, and then I measured an inch and seven eighths from the back of this hole forward and that'll be my center punch mark for the the large hole so you can see it here both these guys fit in nice and then inch and seven eighths from the back of this back hole to the front is going to be the center park center punch mark for my next eighth inch hole all right i've got my center punch mark and then i'm going to progressively go bigger so i'm going to use my quarter inch drill bit and then we'll check our holes here real quick Still all makes sense, so we'll go ahead with our half inch drill bit. This is the big one. Alright, so with the half inch um, drill bit, the ram head fits in there pretty good. Um, but I can't quite get it down all the way, so I'm going to go ahead and enlarge that uh, half inch hole to 9 sixteenths just to give myself a bit more flexibility. Nice. All right, and before we go any further, I'm just gonna take a rag and wipe the remaining chips off the hood. Make sure I get it all. And then you can coat, you're gonna wanna coat the bare metal spots that you just drilled. Um, I'm going to use a bit of crown, it's not paint, um, or sorry, it's rust check, and it's just like a, a rust preventative spray, so if I get my truck crowned every year, I'll just, you know, spray a little bit under there, and that'll prevent it from rusting. Alright, and here's just a quick shot of the inside, so you can see the front nut um, pops through the, just above the hood latch there, and then the back nut, there's a hole that you just have to push your hood insulation out of the way and you can see the back nut there. So I've got both of them on. So we'll go ahead and see what that looks like. All right, and here's a look at the finished product. Here's a view from the driver's seat. And like I showed before with the spring, now if you hit something, it will spring load a little bit each side, front and back, but it's still stable. All right, there we go, guys. So I got the Ram hood ornament um, on the truck and all in the rain, of course. So uh, I hope that helped. Uh, like I said, I'll put up the full diagram of the measurements that I took at least. Uh, I think it's gonna be a little bit different for everyone, right, you know. Um, but if your hole, all your holes are oversized uh, to just a little bit, you can sort of shift the ram back and forth before you tighten down those nuts. So uh, keep that in mind too, it's, it's not a perfect science, but uh, 
nobody's really going to notice the imperfections except for you and me. So, um, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Cheers. Uh, stay tuned for some more videos in the future.